guys welcome back in this lesson we are going to be learning a really fun stuff called notifications in Laravel. for example when a user adds a discussion let's just go back to the page to view all discussions and a new reply is added to this discussion this user should automatically this user should automatically receive an email telling him that a new reply has been added to his discussion okay so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is create a new notification class. So we're just going to do PHP Addison make notification. And this is going to be called new reply added. Okay. Now, if we check out the app folder, you discover that there's a new notifications folder and then there's a new class called new reply added.php. So you can see the extends notification. And then we have a constructor in case we want to inject any dependencies. And then we have the via method. The via method is the method that determines where or what channels this notification should be sent to. We have database channel. We have the mail channel. We have the broadcast channel in case you're using real time notifications. And then you have the to mail method right here, which is used to send the email if you are using the mail channel. And then if you are using the database channel, there's a to array method in case you want to save it to the database. Okay. Now for you to understand more about notifications, I highly recommend going through the documentation. So you just want to come to the documentation, visit notifications, and then you're going to see how to create a notification. PHP Addison make notification just like we did. Then to send a notification, there's a tutorial on how to send it. You can see that each user in application has the notifiable trait. So if you come to the user.php, you can see we have the notifiable trait right here. And if we visit that trait, you can see it has database notifications, routes notifications. So basically it's gonna provide a list of, of methods that we can use to send notifications in application. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one, which is the mail notification. So you can see we have the via method right here and it returns mail which means right now if we send a notification it's only going to use the mail channel and if you can see the contents of the mail so the to mail method determines what the mail message is going to contain okay so if you check here it has a line so we're going to customize this to say a new reply was added to your discussion okay and then this notification action is going to help us generate a button so here we can see view discussion and then here this URL we can make it be the URL of the specific discussion that we are talking about okay and for us to know the specific discussion we can inject it into the constructor so we can say discussion I'm just gonna use that at the top and then we'll have discussion right here and then here we can say this discussion is going to be equal to discussion and then we're going to have a public discussion variable right here. Okay. So we can set this as var discussion. And this is going to be the reply discussion. Okay. So when the new reply is added, we have the discussion injected here when we are sending the notification. And then the action button right here is going to have route. And then this is going to go to discussions dot show and we'll pass in this discussion slog. Remember, we have to pass the slog since we changed the route model binding key for discussions to the slog. And then right here, we just have thank you for using the application. OK, so when we send this notification to the user, it's going to see that the channels listed here is the mail channel only. So once it sees that it's the mail channel, it's going to look for this to mail method and it's going to use this method to send an email to the user. Okay. So how do we send an email or how do we dispatch this notification? We are going to go to our discussion or our replies controller right here. And you can see this is where we are creating the reply. Okay. So what we are going to do now is we're going to say auth is we are going to say discussion and we'll get the author of the discussion which is an instance of user and then we are going to call the notify method 
okay so remember author is a user so you can see right here we have author and it belongs to the user class which means we have an instance of user so when we say discussion author we are trying to send a notification to the author of that discussion the owner of the discussion and the notification that we are going to send right here is new reply added notification okay so if you check right here you can see i've used that automatically and then the new reply added notification requires that we pass in the discussion that was replied to so you can see right here we have a new reply was added to your discussion view discussion and then we use that discussion to generate the slog okay so now when a new reply is created after it's created we have a new notification sent so we notify the author of the discussion about the new reply but we need to be able to set up our application so that the email is actually sent okay because if we come right now to our application let me just show you right there okay so i'm just going to add a new discussion and this is going to be advanced regress from scratch and then i'm just going to copy some lorem ipsum and then add this to angular 7 create discussion you can see we have the conversation right there if i come right now as john doe view all discussions and then view this discussion and then i add a reply new reply and i click on add reply you can see it's trying to send a notification but it tells us authentication is required to be able to send a notification which means we have to set up our application to be able to send an email to do that we are going to use a service called mailtrap and mailtrap is simply to help us send emails during development but in production i'm going to show you a list of mail services that we can use but in this case just go ahead and sign up for mailtrap and then you want to visit your account and then you want to create a new inbox okay so right now i have no inboxes i'm just going to create a new inbox and i get a person name so here i'm just going to call it lavo form and what mailtrap helps us do is it creates us a mail server where we can actually send our test emails so what would happen is every time a mail is sent into our application instead of sending to the user's email we are going to receive it here okay just for development purposes so the first thing we need is the username so i'm going to copy that username come to my env file and you can see mail configurations in the env file already has mail trap as the default so i'm going to place the username right here and then the password i'm going to place the password right here okay now that i've set that up let's go ahead and try to reply to this mail again so i'm just going to say another new reply and if i click on that you can see it takes some time because sending an email takes some time and then we have the reply right there and now if we come to mail trap you can see an email right here new reply added and that email was sent to batcoder at gmail.com who is the creator of that discussion me okay now you can see a new reply was added to your discussion and then it has view discussion button right there and if i click on that you can see it brings me to that discussion directly so this is exactly exactly how we want our application to work okay so the user receives an email and then they can view the discussion directly from their emails okay so how do we achieve this we simply generated a notification class and the via method determines what channels the notification should be sent to in this case we have the mail channel and to send to a mail channel we have to define the to mail method and this simply returns a new mail message where we define the view discussion button and we configure it to go to the single discussion page and finally a line that says thank you and that's it okay now what i'm going to show you is how to use another notification driver which is the database so if you can check right here we have mail notifications then we have database notifications and to be able to use the database notifications we need to create a table for saving the notifications so we can run p3 addison notifications table and it's going to create a migration for us so right now if we check out database migrations you can see we have create notifications table migration okay and it's using a many to many relationship a morphs relationship right there and don't worry about that 
we're gonna cover that in a later lesson probably this is the migration all we need to do is add migrate and it's going to migrate that to our database okay and now that we have that to be able to send a database notification we just need to come here and add database as a channel and once we add this automatically when we dispatch that email right here it's going to send to the mail and it's also going to send to the database you also want to read about the different methods we have the to database method and then we also have the to array you can use both but make sure you read about the difference and now that we have the database channel configured let's go ahead and create a notification and see what happens so i'm just going to go right here create a new notification final notification click on add reply and it loads and then great we're redirected back to this page now let's check our email you can see we received the notification to the email and now what we want to do is also check our database so we're going to come to our sql pro checkout and notifications table and now you can see that we have a new notification right there that says new reply added okay and then i'm sorry this cannot be bigger but you can see we have the id we have the type and then we have notifiable type which is the user and then we have a data which is an empty array right there okay and then a red hat to tell us that the user has not read this notification so let me show you this in our new reply added since the to array method returns an empty array that's why the data right here is an empty array but for the empty array right here we can pass in data like the id of the discussion or the slog of the discussion that was actually replied to so that in case we want to display a list of all notifications for the user we can have links that show you know this is the discussion that was replied to and stuff like that okay so here i'm just going to add discussion id or maybe we should actually just save the whole discussion okay so here we can have discussion and then this is going to be this discussion okay it's just going to save the whole discussion instance to the database okay so new reply added when we send a new reply added message it's going to send an email since we've configured that channel and it's also going to send to the database and it's going to save the discussion to the database also so let's try this out again so i'm going to come here and i'm just going to add a new reply it's going to waste time because it's sending the email and then it's done and now if we check our database refresh this page great you can see we have a new notification right here and then you can see that the discussion has been saved to the database right there and using this discussion we can be able to display a link to the discussion okay so now let's say we wanted to display a list of all unread notifications for the user how are we going to do this let's just come to the app.blade.php and then this is the nav bar i'm just going to scroll right down to here this is where we have the nav bar nav let me just show you it's going to appear right beside the level form right here okay so you can see we have level right here awesome so here i can have a list item the nav item and then in here i can just say auth user then on red notifications count okay so if i refresh you can see we have two unread notifications so what we could do is that we can add this in a batch so we can have a span dot batch place this in and you can see it's the batch default what we probably want to do is have batch info and if i refresh great so you can see we have the batch info right there but i want this to actually have a white color so i'm just going to add this to my list of white color text right there if i refresh you can see we have two unread notifications right there okay so what we want to do is have unread notifications so on red notifications refresh you can see two unread notifications right there we only want this displayed if the user is logged in right so we can say auth and auth and then i'm gonna paste that right there 
So if the user logs in and they're authenticated, they can see the number of unread notifications. And also what we want to do is have a link. So a.nav item, or actually this should be nav link. And then I'll paste that in. And this is going to be able to go to a page for all notifications. Let's go ahead and register that page. So I'm just going to go to the web.php and then here I'm just going to have a route get and then this is going to be equal to users slash notifications and then this is going to go to a users controller class and it's going to go to notifications okay so let's go ahead and create that controller add make controller users controller okay so i'm just going to use this class at the top so users controller like that great so now if we go into that class we need to create a notifications method okay guys so this notifications method is going to mark all as red then it's going to display all notifications okay but i'm gonna hit pause right now so that you're gonna digest everything we've done concerning notifications right so we have a route for viewing all notifications we even have a link to actually click here and view all notifications okay so we've done a lot in this lesson we've learned about level notifications which is really really awesome you can save notifications to the database we can write notifications to the email and that's a lot right 